Hey, y'all, I am cold, baby. I am cold. I'm always cold. Girl, you can see that gray coming through. It is what it is. Hi, y'all. How y'all doing? It's time for another chit-chat. Now, let me tell y'all something. I just got finished doing a product haul, baby. Ooh, I had to run to Brookshire's, which is a local grocery store out here in the south. And they, y'all saw it. If you saw it, now I'm talking about it. Girl, they had, like, a little section of clearance stuff. And I saw a bunch of perm boxes. And then I saw like a couple of hair products and I looked down below and it said $2. I'm like, do I? Anyway, y'all, y'all know how we do. This is a chit chat. We talk about what's going on in my personal life, what I'm watching on YouTube and what I'm watching on TV. Now, my hair is a mess. I have scheduled, because I bought all those products, I have scheduled three product reviews. Do I have any readers out there, those of you who love to read like me? Um, by the way, I'm not doing nothing to my hair because I'm over my hair. I should probably be detangling it while I'm talking to y'all, but I need to really take my time and detangle. So anyway, this is not me doing anything, just talking to y'all. Um, this year alone, I have purchased all of these products, including books, including this. So I'm not going to go over all of them. Some of them I did purchase through, um, half price books, but some books I'm excited to read is Dean Koontz, The Good Guy, um, Stephen King, Mr. Mercedes. I got this called Trust by Diane Reeds. I started it, put it down. Um, and then if you like a cute mystery sexy book, I'm going to recommend Finley Dun Donovan is Killing It. It's by a author. What is her name? Ellie. Cosmino. It's a three series and I just got this in yesterday. You guys, I will, I can finish a book. It's not that long, probably three, less than 300 pages, 284 pages. I can finish this in a weekend. No problem. So I'm going to continue to read this tonight. Have a slice of pizza. I want to order pizza and that's it. So that's what I've been doing. I've been ordering books, getting back on my reading game. I did have, I was, excuse me, in the middle of the number one ladies detective agency. I think I'm on the fifth book of that series and I got sidetracked, started to read another book, but I'm going to go back to that too. But let me finish this and go through all these. And yeah, I'm excited to be reading again. I really am. Um, girl, the Texas storm. How, how y'all doing out in, in Dallas, in Texas? How y'all holding up, baby? They shut the schools down, of course, the school, at least for us in the Dallas area, Dallas-Fort Worth area. I know my sister and them, they went back to school out in East Texas. They went back to school, I think, as of Wednesday. But, baby, they shut it down Monday morning, said, come get your kids. I was laughing with my um, with JB's teachers because I said, when you sent that message, I was in a Chick-fil-A parking lot eating my fries and my wrap and you sit there and I'm like what the hell <laughs> she started left she's like oh, I'm sorry I said no it's okay it's okay so it's okay you know we stayed in I think we went out twice all that all this week actually because today is Sunday it's finally cleared up as of Friday but even with Friday they said no we're gonna go ahead and you know you keep your kids at home so girl some of those parents because I am on a couple of different Facebook groups with parents. And some of these parents, I get it. It can be a lot when your kids are home, but the school is not a daycare. It's not what it is. They are there to learn. So I saw a post from one of the moms here in Forney. And she's like, I have three kids under the age of seven, and this is a lot. Okay, uh, so what do you want us to do about that? I mean, I get it, you need a break. But again, school is not a daycare. Take care of your kids, ma'am. <laughs> Come on. So it is what it is. We waited it out. We were good. Nothing shut down, thankfully. Now, in the midst of all this, some raggedy ass kid. I should stop. Prior to the storm coming, I guess Sunday night, some kids decided to, teenagers decided to wreck, just open up an AT&T box and just messed up all of these cables. And so half of our neighborhood has been without an internet for the past five or six days. Again, some of the people are going crazy. JB's so cute. He said, mama, we will be okay because I have a record player. I said, okay, baby. He said, he said I have a record player and we could play my Wii game. I said, child, we will be okay because we old. <laughs> You know what I mean? You know, my job will be okay. They know that I live out in the countryside where you don't never know 
granted the uh internet outage is due to a person not necessarily uh the weather but anyway that happened but speaking of um work honey when i was in one of my meetings this week our team meeting um one of the trainers that I work with, those of you who don't know, I work in the educational field, mostly with adult education. So my department sets up training and stuff for the product that we sell. And it's globally, and we also do virtual training. Okay? So anyway, um, baby, one of them was like, the, the, the trainer was, we all are close. We've been working with each other for so long. So she's like, yeah, the manager, our manager, I'm not going to call her name. So anyway, we're going to, I'm not going to use my manager. We're going to call her Lorna. So she's like, this is my coworker. And she's like, Lorna called me up last night and was like, do you want to go to Dubai? I said, what? She said, yeah, um, we, they we're trying to secure a major deal. I'm not going to give the numbers. Um, but trying to, you know, secure a major deal. It wants to know if you're willing to go to Dubai off and on for two years. I'm like, yes, sis. Cause she's like, she's black. I said, you better. She said, well, I said, yes. But then I spoke to my husband and he's like, no, that won't be a good fit. I get it. I said, really? She's like, yeah. He said, no, I don't think, I don't think that will work for us. I said, oh girl, I was already picking out. If I were you, I would be already picking out what I'm wearing. You know, Dubai is a beautiful country, but I get it. Not everyone, but in the same breath, while we we're talking in the meeting, I was like, you know what? Maybe I will learn the product. Yeah, I will learn the product. And she said, well, what about your husband? I said, he will be down for it. He works contract jobs. And she said, like, what about your child? I said, what about, Jamie's ready. <laughs> Jamie would be, look, you only have one life. If I was in that position, you have one life. To live in another country, yes. And my company's going to pay for it? Absolutely. Now, let me back up and say, I can't do this particular position they're talking about. It's a trainer. I'm not a trainer. Now, I could probably get caught up and learn the material, but I don't have time for that. But if I was in that position, absolutely, girl. I would look at, but anyway, y'all, what I'm watching on YouTube, one thing I want to say, I have been seeing still to this day a lot of murders that are happening um, apparently three rappers were murdered. I don't remember where at. Three men were found, their bodies were discovered. They had canceled a concert and they were found dead. Three women were murdered in a posh, I hate to say the word posh, but a really nice Beverly Hills mansion that they were renting out. They were found dead in a car and, um, two women excuse me, three women. Um, and one of the women was a rising rapper also. What in the heck is going on? This morning, I was looking at an Instagram. I know this is not YouTube, but I was looking at Ricky Smiley. Those of you who don't know, Ricky Smiley is a comedian. And his son, his oldest child, actually ended up passing away unexpectedly. Um, and... You know, he's being very candid, meaning Ricky Smiley on his platform. And he shared on Instagram, I don't know if it was yesterday or today when he actually uploaded it, but I saw it today and basically stating that he was going into, um, he was picking out underwear and socks and, you know, undergarments. And in the back of his head, he almost got things like extra toothpaste, extra mouthwash. And then it occurred to him that he was purchasing, not purchasing, but he was grabbing these extra items to bury his son in. You're not supposed to go before your children. Um, it's unnatural. I know people that have lost their children and they are not the same. They don't even talk about them. They don't even... They don't even say their names. You know what I mean? They don't even say their children's names. They don't bring them up. And I know someone else who actually, her child was murdered and she ended up in a, it was an old coworker of mine in Texas. She ended up in a mental institution for a couple of months. I don't blame her. 
so anyway that that was disturbing let me backtrack a little bit you guys on personal stuff i have an aunt that's having a 70th birthday and her my family is really big into themes aunt is turning 70 and it's a 70s theme and so and so i went ahead and purchased a jumper i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like excuse the background jb is screaming i purchased a jumper in my favorite color purple and then um i was looking for some shoes on amazon ordered some didn't like them i have enough shoes i can just wore me some cute black strappy heels i had asked y'all on the last uh chit chat on wear my hair in an afro versus a um farrah fawcett i'm thinking donna summers summers big hair i think i'm gonna go that route because <sighs> The afro, wearing your hair in the afro and leaving it like that, it can get so, so tangled. It can, you can get so many tangles. I rarely have done that. And the last time I wore my hair in an afro-like state was typically, was seriously like five years ago. So it is not humid here. It is, I'm um, sorry, it is not humid here at all right now. We did, it doesn't even get humid here till the springtime. And so it's going to be the birthday parties in February. I think I'm good. Anyway, purple, I decided to do my own press on nails. I was looking for some for the longest. And I was like, you know what? You got all that nail stuff back there. You can make your own press on nails. So I went ahead and made my own press on nails. Aren't these cute? And different purple colors and a little bit of glitter. And so let me show y'all this outfit. Again, it is a jumper. It cinches in here at the waist, low cut. Now, because my family is my family, I'm not trying to be all boozy, booby out. I'm going to, you know, bobby pin that up. It has a little sash to go around there. And I'm going to be wearing it my purple, pink glasses with it. <laughs> I about that. Again, that's in two more weeks. I will be filming that because my family is beautiful and amazing. All right, you guys. Um, so what I'm watching on YouTube, still watching Willie D, watching um, Kendra G. You know, I'm finding that Kendra G is a little biased when it comes to certain people on her channel. Um, I think that she is losing patience to a certain degree. So she may need to take a break and come back, you know, for a while. Um, I'm still watching my true crime. I love my true crime. And as far as TV, okay, so Netflix and Hulu, I'm back on the center and I'm on season one, two, four, Percy. Really, really good. I, I like it so far. It, it, I had to go back an episode or two to go back and figure out what the hell is this about? But it's good. It's good. It's good. Um, Def, girl, what? I can't even read my handwriting. I don't know. So on Netflix, I decided to watch The Irishman. Y'all, I don't know what they were thinking. With The Irishman, with Joe Pesci little ass. And what is his name? What is his name? Um, the one that was married to the black woman. But what, what was so unrealistic is that he's playing someone... He's, his character is supposed to be young because at one point Joe Pesci is like, hey kid. I'm like, wait a minute. He's not a kid. So they try to put on all this makeup on him but he's old. Like they're both are over 70. I think both over 70 years old. <laughs> this is not. It's not. So it is what it is. The Watcher. Very interesting. And I know this is based on a true crime story which I honestly think the family... Anyway, but The Watcher has a great cast, and I'm on episode two. Very interesting. Um, Better Than Us is a new one that I want to start watching. It has to do with, like, AI futuristic stuff. It's in a different language, so I'm using subtitles. Snow Girl is another one that I want to start watching. Now, I started to watch back again American Horror Story. Not back again, but for the first time, 1983. I'm here for the, it is overkill, 1983. I mean, the lingo, 
I love the fashions. I'm, I love it. 80s. I love it. But it's a little too much. But I think that's the whole point. It's very campy. But that's the whole point, right? But I think I may pause that and go to Roanoke with Cuban Gordon Jr. I think I may do that because I like him. You know, his ass is crazy. On Hulu, I have Mistresses that has good reviews and people were, but it's giving me bodish you know which is what it's supposed to be it means cause mistresses and the watchful eye is on my thing oh back to netflix i did you guys i did go back and finish the first episode or the pilot for amsterdam new amsterdam it's not bad it's giving me though honest i'm gonna be honest it's giving me more in your feels er i was i watched er front and back i was all for it I wasn't into house. I wasn't into any any of those other type of medical like stories. But the pilot is good. I'm gonna try to give this new Amsterdam. I'm gonna try to give it a, a shot. So that is it, everyone. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much to all of my new subscribers. Take care. Bye.